Right, well, we are back in the world of New Vegas, so we're ready to take on more contracts from Bobby Bass. And Wolf is here with me. Look at him shine. Yeah, I really couldn't find a proper wolf mod. This is the best I could do, so... He looks like the fucking surface of the moon, but... Since the last episode, actually, uh, I installed New Vegas Stutter Remover, so the gameplay should be a bit more fluid. Also, I'm recording at 60 FPS now instead of 30, so... That should also be more fluid. It should be more fluid, but I'm going to talk to Bobby Bass now, the world's greatest voice actor. And he likes his plants. Look at those plants. Yeah. All right. So good to see you. Likewise. I'm very pleased that you're back because we have a big job for you. I think it's one of the most important jobs we've ever given out. This job is about Jackie Freehorn. If you don't know Jackie Freehorn, odds are about half the men you've met have whacked off to his movies at some point or another because he is a pornographer. He makes the the pretty good smutty movies. Uh, sometimes the plot, uh, a little bad, bad acting, bad voicing. It, it's so bad it hurts your heart on. Are people just that lazy? Do they think we won't notice? There's no excuse. <laughs> I guess as long as people are simple enough to buy that shit, they'll keep making it. You know, we, we don't really... This issue is not about the quality of his movies. Um, it is about money, as is with most of our affairs. Mr. Judge Richter is now the premier protection man, and Mr. Freehorn refuses to recognize this and uh, does not pay the toll. We have put animal heads in his bed, all manner of nastiness that usually does the trick, but not so with Mr. Freehorn. I'm afraid he has to go. He carries a gun, thinks he's some kind of cowboy, so you just take this little subsonic 22, put that right in the back of his head, then get paid. Ah, that sounds like I could do that. Right, janky Freehorn. Um, let's see, that's in Freeside, right. Uh, real. I learned my lesson, so we're not gonna use the M9 because apparently that's not too great, or at least not against ghouls. So let's go with a sniper rifle. We could also stop at the gun runners and buy a better gun, probably. But I mean, I gotta stay in character here. I couldn't find an HK 417S, so this is the best I can do. Sometimes I use this gun in armor. So yeah, there's no laser rifles in armor. No, go away. No. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Yeah, yeah, thanks, sure thing. Grilled mantis, okay. Some extra protein. Yeah, Mick and Ross. No. Yes. Now that is kind of creepy, because I'm pretty sure they start eating. Yeah, they. Yeah. Anyways. Where the hell am I going? Free, oh, Freehorn Studios, right. Well, I mean, you'd figure a uh, porn shoot would be in Freeside. It's a high quality plot going on right there. Pizza delivery. I'm delivering this. Hello, dude. Thanks for coming. I'm Jackie Freehorn. Wait, you're not the new fluffer. You. You're armed. Richter sent you, didn't he? Well, I'm not going to be pushed around anymore. Fluffers, it's time for double penetration. Thank God I'm not playing hardcore mode. Instant expanding. Still works. Just press 5. And get infinite health. Hmm. Be vigilant. Medex. Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, Wolf is down again, as usual. But that's okay. I think the uh, actresses ran away. No, oh, no, that was a job well done. Kind of messy though. There's some uh, limbs flying around somewhere. There's blood on the bed. Hey, look at that guy. He's not doing too great. Anyways, to read this note. Uh, no. 
Okay. Now nah, give me to read that. Right. Oh, that's just fantastic. Fantastic. I knew you was going to take care of that. You went. You took care of that crazy cowboy director. Man wouldn't listen to reason. Thought because he looked at cocks and pussies all day, he was invincible. It just don't work like that, you know? You deserved yourself a nice little break here. You take your break. Go take uh, whatever it is you do. I don't, you know, I... So you just do whatever it is that you do, and you come on back when you want to make some more money. You take care now. Thank you. So good to see you. Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. We got a job right for you. Big job. Straight from Judge Richter. I just got it. He's hot on this one. You know, he's got that big, deep voice. You know, he's real kind of scary, crazy, tall man. Very strange around young boys. He sent me word. He wants you to take out Jorge Martin, novelist. He wrote. He he writes these big novels. Uh, I'll make it easy for you. You care about somebody, they all fucking die. All right, that's the whole novel, and it's got dragons and hairy people and uh, swords, uh, all that fantastical bullshit that uh, strange people eat up. You know, I don't like that genre. You know, I like. You know what I like? I like westerns. I like things with sex. Normal things. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I don't think people need to think about fighting with swords. You know, that's savage. You know, who wants to dream about being a caveman? That's just that's obscene to me. Write a book. Write something poetic about beautiful titties. Uh, about a beautiful sunset. Something like that. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I retire. I'm gonna write a novel. It's gonna be about plants, dogs, and titties. <laughs> that's what life's all about. In my in, in my opinion. Okay. I don't want to judge. You know, Judge Richter, Mr. Judge Richter. He probably, his book would be about uh, hatchets and, you know, little boys. Uh, very strange. What he wants you to do, Mr. Judge Richter, he wants you to go down to Jorge Martin's house. He's down there around Good Springs somewhere. What the fuck is with everything around Good Springs? <laughs> this is a big place. Motherfuckers crossing the river, invading. And every fucking thing I hear happening is happening in that little shithole town. What the fuck is going on in this place? Is this some kind of magnetic shit? You know, talk about fantasy. There's some fantastical shit going on in that town, drawing everything in. Judge Richter's hot on this because Mr. He loves his novels, and Fat Ass Martin has been sitting on his ass, not producing his last book. Everybody's waiting for the fucking book, and Martin won't do shit. He's eating himself to death inside that house, and so, you know what, we're just going to speed things up along and make it quick and painless for him. We're going to send our little book people in there, um, the nerds, and they're going to go in there and collect all his writings, and they will piece it together, and we will make our own novel and publish it, and Judge Richter will reap the financial benefits. You know, otherwise, Fat Ass sits around and dies, and nobody knows what the fuck happened. People, people go crazy about that shit. You know, you know people get crazy. When a series, a plot is not finished, they 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 like it's like some biblical shit, fire and brimstone coming out of the fucking sky. They think that the world will stop turning if the story does not finish. I, motherfucker, we're about to fuck. The we could all be dead tomorrow. Who gives a fuck about the story? But you know, fucking people are crazy. I can't fucking change that. So, take care, of Mr. Martin. Come on back, get paid. We'll set you up. Good luck. Alright, attempt to finish Game of Thrones. Uh, this mod. Yeah, the, uh, as I mentioned in the first part, this is made by the new Vegas Bounties guys. Or guy, rather. I think it's just one guy, but, uh, those bounties, mods, are a tad bit more serious than this. This is just a spin off, which I think is hilarious. I think sidestepping works in this. Yeah, we're nearly there. Let's get out the M9 pistol to finish him off. Well, that was surprisingly easy. This place is a shithole. Get up, wolf. I think I need a new partner. Wolf is just not durable enough. And there's a fucking wall behind you, Wolf. 
Um, microfusion cell, nuka cola. He's a lot of food on him. He's even got a picture of some flowers. That's definitely a cozy office. I mean, the roof is a tad bit too high, but can't complain. Also, whoop was in the way. Anyways. So good to see you. Likewise. You know, it's a, it's a sad thing. Great man, great writer, but he just he he lost touch with reality. You know, and I wonder sometimes how that happens. You know, it's like a a sudden drop off in quality. And and it's like they just don't give a shit anymore. You know what causes this? Is it is it Kim's? Is it the alcohol? It's probably the alcohol and the food. You know he he ate. He drank a lot. You know you drink that much, bad things are bound to happen. You know my mama she told me drinking that much will make you stupid, and you won't be able to make babies. So I said okay, I don't drink. You, you don't want to hear all that nonsense. So here's your caps. You did a great job. Take care now. Alright, one more job. So good to see you. Alright, this next one, little sensitive, okay? So you just need to keep an open mind. Uh, one of our bookkeepers, little number nerd, he decided, since the NCR put the screws to him, he was going to flip and turn witness. Bad for everybody. We need to make sure he does not make it to trial. Luckily for you, we know the safe house where they're keeping him up north of town. They think it's safe, but uh, NCR, they're pretty fucking stupid most of the time. So we found it. You go there, you gotta kill Clooney and his whole family, alright? Because here's the thing, alright? This, this business operates on uh, deterrence. If he goes and undermines us, then, you know, things go sour. And we gotta take some proactive steps. First thing is killing this man and his family to send a message. I uh, hope you don't have any problems with that, but the fact is, if you don't kill him, here's what's going to happen. Let's say you go in there and you kill Mr. Clooney and little Bobby Sue and Mary Jo are watching and they're covered in blood and gore. 20 years down the road, they're all trained up goddamn ninja motherfuckers full of vengeance and hate for you. You trying to sit on the front porch have a fucking glass of lemonade with your kids and then the motherfuckers show up and put you, put one in your head all right and that's how that, and i know shit almost happened to me 3 years ago some crazy ass bushwhacking fucking runt kid came out of nowhere with a shotgun peppered the shit out of me if it hadn't been for bishop and taint i'd have been fucked they saved my ass so that's why you got to kill the youngins all right Bottom line is, if you don't do it, then Judge Richter's going to do it to us. So, you have to do it. I'm going to tell Judge Richter right now. I'm just going to send him a letter and say, take a break from your little boys. We got the shit done. Uh, you no, know, we're not collecting ears. He you know, he likes the ears. I don't like the fucking ears. That's what we don't do the ears. It wastes time. You just do what you do. You come on back and we'll get you paid. You take care now. Yeah, it's in the murder of family. I'm all in. But yeah, you could truly really say that this is uh, another episode of Good Karma. I mean, murdering a family, that is, uh, that's doing God's work. We're gonna get some good karma out of this. Shut the fuck up. Who was definitely louder than I remember? Time to take some preemptive steam packs. Let's see, do we have anything else? I should have definitely gotten that double barrel shotgun. We got a camera. And we got a laser detonator, but that's probably not going to work on the inside of the house. So. Oh shit. Wolf is truly the greatest bait you could wish for. He's a real trooper. Oh shit. Third one. Thank god this thing is pammable. Alright, well if I'm correct, all I have to do now is uh, murder the family. 
Let's see, what should we use for that? And if they run outside, I'm gonna try and use that laser detonator. Go with hollow points. And this thing is definitely not too powerful. Who would have known that 9mm is not that great? And whatever, 762. Uh, that takes care of mom and dad, I think. Um, no, he actually fucking ran. And there we go. Now just to murder the children. So let's do it humane. With a subsonic 22 pistol. Hollow points. Eh. No. Oh. Anyways, that was that. Murder some children, murder a housewife, murder five NCR soldiers. Lever action shotgun. Hmm. Yeah, well, Wolf is vibrating and morphing into the desk. That's better. Okay. So good to see you. And I murdered that family. You know, some people actually like killing little children. Not, not my style. I think that's a little strange. Now, Judge Richter, he don't actually, he doesn't kill the children. He does other things. Uh, you know, best not to discuss that. All that matters, you went in there, you showed professionalism and character. Keep on coming back. We'll keep giving you money. Excellent work. So good to see you. Well, that was that, so I think we're near the end, and I think there's many more contracts. Not 100% sure, but we did five so far, or four. Some free plants from here as well. Beautiful. So uh, we'll return next time and maybe finish this thing, depending on how many missions there are still left. He's sweeping the floor. Yeah. So far, still lagging his quest mod.